Yes, I'm blonde. Surprise! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you guys probably have been wondering where I have been since I haven't been posting any videos in the last couple months. Well, to put it simply, I just really have lost my passion for makeup but I finally think that I have it back now and I just wanted to really take a break and step back. I have three kids and a very really busy life so I just didn't have time. Um, the end of the year is always really crazy for us so yeah. This tutorial is based on this eye look here. Always wanted to do a look like this just because I think that it just looks so great. Um, just blue is just so different and I feel like it's just such a calming color and it just looks so amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and of course don't forget to give it the thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to prime my eyes today, I'm just using this Sephora concealer in the shade Light. This is probably the best $20 concealer I have ever tried in my whole entire life, I swear. But I can never seem to let you go. Cause what's the fun of time you want? Now just going in with a flat concealer brush, I am just carving out my eyebrows and spreading all that concealer all over my lids. Now just taking as a weave a buffing brush, I'm just blending that out. Taking my Australia's Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Natural, I am just going to be setting my eyelids just to make sure that they are all nice and ready for my eyeshadow. Now using my Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, I'm taking the lightest blue in the palette and using that as my transition colour today. I'm just going to be blending that out with a Zoeva Luxe blending brush, I'm pretty sure it is. Now this eyeshadow was really hard to like build up the colour, but once you like work with it and just keep building and building and building, you'll eventually get really nice colour out of it, so yeah. Now I'm just taking the darker shade in the palette next to it and I'm just going to be using that on the outer corner of my eyes just to really build that colour up and give it more definition. Now I'm just taking the Benefit Boying Industrial Strength Concealer and I'm just going to be carving out a half cut crease at the front of my eye. Now just taking this white shade here at the bottom of the BH Cosmetic palette, I'm just going to be setting that concealer with that shade. Now I'm just taking this other blue in the palette, I'm going to be using that on the outer corner of my eye again, just to really build up that colour. Taking the next darkest blue in the palette, I'm going to be building up that colour even further. The same colour on my big fluffy brush, I am just going to blend out the edges just to make sure it is nice and seamless. Now taking the darkest blue in the palette, I'm just going to be applying that to the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm just going to be taking the black in the BH Cosmetic palette and just also applying that in a C shape I guess you could call it. And I'm using a really small pencil brush for this just because I really want it to just stay in that sort of specific area. Um, so that looks really nice and blended and shit. Also with my blending technique, I'm more dabbing rather than pushing it across. Just because I want the colour to stay where it is, I don't want it to go all out of control and shit. Once more, I'm going in with this blue colour from the palette. 
I'm going to be using this sort of as a transition shade between the concealer and the eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the LA Splash Cosmetics Glitter in Oceana. So now I'm just applying that glitter all over the concealer that I lay down. I'm using the concealer as a guide as to where to place the glitter because as everybody knows, once you start using glitter on your eyes, it can get really messy really quick. So I really like to use it so that my eyeshadow is always really even. It's very deep inside me, but I feel there's something you should know. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget you. Again, I'm just going in with this colour and defining my crease with it a little bit more. To do my wings today, I'm going to be using the Inglot 77 Gel Eyeliner along with my Zoeva Winged Liner Brush. I feel like it's so easy to do gel liner with this brush. It's seriously amazing. Now I'm just taking the LA Splash Cosmetics Glitter in Bliss and I'm just applying that in the inner corners of my eyes with the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue. Now for the lower lash line, I'm just taking this shade here in the palette and just blending that out. So to really build up the colour, I'm taking this darker blue and just applying the same process. Then taking the black, I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more. And for mascara today, I'm using the MAC False Lashes Mascara in False Black. I swear I use this in every tutorial because it's my fucking favourite mascara ever. If you have gotten to the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like and subscribe to be in my giveaway. I know I'm nagging now, but seriously, just do it. And yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.